Jesus' message in these 12 verses is a declaration of good tidings. A way to say congratulations to people who had been kept on the outside of the kingdom of heaven. And rather than going into kind of this exposition of each of these verses, I'd like to take what I've studied this week and paraphrase these verses for you in a way that I think creatively captures the essence of what these words were saying for us. And he says this, congratulations to those that know they can't make it on their own, to those that live hand to mouth, relying on God for everything. The kingdom of God is for them. Congratulations to those whose hearts are saturated with grief and sorrow that at times makes them feel like they're drowning. God's going to make all their sad things come untrue one day. Congratulations to those who are powerless, disadvantaged, and weak, but refuse to be arrogant and oppressive to others because God will one day validate the way that they have lived and give them the earth as their inheritance. Congratulations to those who feel the hunger pangs of their soul. Longing to live the lives that, the way that God wants them to. God's going to prepare a feast for their souls that will blow their minds with how satisfying it is. He'll fill up their souls with the best that God can give. Congratulations to those who are confident in God enough that they don't always have to be right or argue and demand what they think they deserve, but instead have generous attitudes that reveal love. God will be merciful to them. Congratulations to those that deeply desire to live the life God wants them to. God will pull back the curtains and reveal himself to them. Congratulations to those that make reconciliation and peace a way of life. People that recognize that personal revenge and retaliation and a spirit of war fight against the image of our Father God. God sees their struggle and one day it will be said of them, they look and act just like God their Father. Congratulations to those that refuse to bury their whole lives in the sand but live honorable lives for God and are persecuted for that. God's kingdom belongs to them. Congratulations when my followers are made fun of, lied about, and rejected by others as backwards thinking, weak-minded fools that deny reality because they're committed to God and Jesus. Rejoice. Celebrate that you are in good company and your reward in heaven is going to be so amazing. And if that's you, remember, you're in good company. The prophets of old, before you, were rejected and persecuted too because they lived and spoke for me despite the pressures on them to conform as well. Congratulations.